before we get started be sure to hit that subscribe button honey here are some of the supplies i used magnets from the dollar tree gift wrap as well as poster boards gems and seashells Okay, everybody, it's Deshaun, the DIY mom here again with another DIY video. This time, I'm going to be doing another photo frame. And as you can see by this wrapping paper and these magnets, happy birthday magnets, it's a mermaid theme photo frame. I did my printouts online of the lettering. I got this off right off of Microsoft Word. I did the colors and I did um, the font as well. I got my seashells, my gem sheet for the extra little sparkle. I got my glue sticks, my scissors, wrapping paper, of course, my hot glue gun, which is gonna bless this cardboard, uh, poster board I got from Dollar Tree. Everything was a dollar as per usual from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And the party that I'm doing this for is for two little girls. One is Mason's god sister, and then it's Mason's god sister cousin. So I'm doing two photo frames. It's a double party, one's turning three, one's turning four with the mermaid theme. As you guys can see, I've already done the first one. I used some of the gems, the magnets, actual seashells you can see here. I use curling ribbon as well. More gems, more she seashells. Another happy birthday little magnet. Okay, so this is the photo frame I had from the unicorn one I did for my niece's ninth birthday. I'm using this as a template for the new photo frame. As you guys can see, this is the new one. Underneath here, I'm going to cut out the center. And then I'm going to go ahead in with my wrapping paper. So as you guys can see, I've done my cutouts. That's the back, that's the front, vice versa. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be neat. This has to be pretty smooth for the wrapping paper to fit neatly around it. Say hello to my bundle of joy. He's in and he's out. I'm gonna go in. I normally use glue sticks and I've discovered that that is not always the easiest way to go. So for this time around, I am gonna be using clear tape to wrap this photo frame with the gift wrap. And I'll show you guys how it looks. As you all can see, I went in with the clear tape. I made little rolls and taped it in a, you know, weird pattern all the way around. And I'm just gonna unleash the wrapping paper onto the poster board. Flat, neat. Um, it won't take very long, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to look smooth so it can have that professional finish, just like the other one I made. So let's start that part. Okay guys, so here is the rest of my wrapping paper for photo frame number two. I've laid it out smoothly, and what I'm going to do is leave um, two extra grid spaces. I hope I'm <laughs> explaining it correctly. Maybe two underneath so it can be even. You guys see how it's already boxed off, sectioned off a little bit? You just want to leave a little space on the end. So when you fold into to cover it up, it's really neat on the back and the front. Do you guys see how it's gridded on the inside? So what I'm going to do is go in just like I did with the outside where I left a couple boxes. I'm going to leave about two rows of boxes going across and the long way as well. Just so that when I fold it in, it'll look neat. And like you guys can see, this edge is completely cut down to two pieces. It's a little bit extra at the top and the bottom because those are a little bit thicker. And the same thing on that side. And this is what it looks like on the front. Smooth, not bumpy, not lumpy, easy peasy. Anybody can do it. Okay guys, so I cut out the center, leaving two spaces each way around the internal square and I cut an angled slit as well in each corner so that it looks neat when we fold over and all we're gonna do is fold over and tape just like we're wrapping a gift again it doesn't have to be perfect you want it as neat as possible though 
because the front is going to look like a masterpiece if you did it correctly. Now, if you rush through this and you think you're just going to snap your fingers and, oh, I did that like she did that, no, take your time. At least so the front can look decent. The back, nobody's going to see, so it doesn't matter. But the front needs to look decent. I taped the exterior, as you guys can see, folded it over, put pieces of tape. It's neat, it's not bulky, it's flat. And there is our photo frame wrapped in mermaid wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. One dollar only. That's the front and that's the back. And as you can see, there is not much going on back there. Really neat, smooth, taped. And it doesn't matter because the photo frame has to look good in the front. That is the most important part. So now it's time to get decorating. I got my letters. I have to go get my curling ribbon. I got my actual seashells. I got my gems. And we are going to DIY this thing. We are going to decorate. So here I've set up my lettering so I know exactly how I want it to look going across the poster board. I got my letters neatly secured. And I'm just gonna go in with my glue stick, my handy dandy glue stick. And I'm going to glue the backs of these letters and stick them in the proper position. Okay guys, since I have now glue stuck my letters onto the poster board, you see how neat those are? They are not going anywhere. I got my hot glue gun warming up. I'm going to take my magnets that I bought from Dollar Tree. All of these magnets were a dollar. I'm using them for the decor on the photo frame and I'm also using curling ribbon and what I did for the first photo frame was basically curl the ribbon up with scissors and then tape it randomly to pieces of the magnets like tape it to the back so it could be a decorative fixture on the photo frame um, I hope you guys see what I mean after it's done I'm going to place the gems randomly onto the photo frame the goal here is to do um, your own thing make it your own do what you want I'm also going to use these seashells I got from Dollar General the whole bag was a dollar. These gem stick um, sheets were a dollar. And they're like stickers. So you literally just peel them apart and they stick on their own. You don't need to hot glue them, use a glue stick or anything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm sorry that I can't like film myself. You guys are going along with me. But you'll get the gist at the end of the video. Okay guys, so here is the finished results of my DIY mermaid photo frame. As you guys can see, I added actual seashells, the gold gems, curling ribbon, everything you need to make your poster board photo frame look great, all on a budget. You can see that sparkle there. I created the letters on Microsoft Word, so it's very, very easy and practical. And I just freestyle with this. You can see the mermaid, all the shells, all the gold gems, more curling ribbon. I really hope you guys like this. This one is for Madison and this one is for Symphony. And you can see I did them just a little different, but they're very much so the same. Still on a budget. Please let me know if you like it. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So share if you care. If you know anybody interested in having a mermaid themed birthday party, please, please share and subscribe to my channel. Once I reach a thousand subs, I'm going to do a giveaway. Not sure what yet. I'm still thinking about it. But the closer I get to a thousand subs, the better.